And as I was painting, I hated it. Hated it. I did not like it at all. In our last video, we barreled our way through the towel work in the half bathroom while also forging ahead on completing some remaining plumbing work in the crawl space. We also got to painting the bedroom, including the still unfinished mural wall. But don't worry, I'll get to that someday in my copious amounts of free time. Which brings us to this week. Good morning, friends. I am hiding from the sun. I'm outside to show you something we picked up yesterday. I'm very excited about. Ta-da! The beginnings of our mini forest. We have been talking forever about starting a windbreak somewhere down there on our property and we have finally done it. So I'm going to go move this around, get that sorted out. I do have my irrigation tubing, so we're gonna do that too. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the goal with this windbreak is really to block, at least at first, the first couple of years as we continue to expand, the south and the southwesterly winds, those tend to be the strongest and that kind of hit us the most. <laughs> so yeah, let me pull out some trees and I'll tell you the varieties. These are all chosen specifically because they were grown locally, literally like whatever, 15 miles away. They are drought tolerant, resistant, if you will. And they, I believe they're all local to this area as well, just like the species. So I feel like they're gonna do really well. All the descriptions and things that I read said that they should hopefully thrive in our relatively <laughs> like extreme environment. The lady who I got them from at the nursery gave a lot of them names. So <sighs> meatloaf, I've overstayed my welcome. Bushy guy here. This is the, I wanna make sure I'm getting all the names right. This is the white fur. I'm gonna pull out another one. He's fat, he's been there for a while. Uh, but I love that because we need fat trees. They want to block the wind, right? That means they're thriving. We're good with that. So meatloaf, I took him. He looks like he's loved. So we've got white fir as one variety. We also have blue spruce. Those are native to Colorado. They are not necessarily my favorite. I actually don't know about the blue coloring, um, but they do well here. And I wanted a variety because that's better for drought resistance and pest resistance as well. The third variety is a bristlecone pine. They get kind of floppy apparently, but they look super native to the forest here. You see a lot of them in the national forest when you hike and drive around. So yeah, I'm glad to have these guys. You can see they have a ton of pollen, pine cones starting. So we know they're doing well, they look really good. Hopefully they'll settle in. predictable thing that's ever happened while it was windy. The camera got over and the microphone broke. So I don't even know if you can hear me right now, but uh, trees, let's go find some spots for them. All I've done today is run a bunch of errands. I did cut the top of our sink thingamajigger here. I'm gonna try to fit everything. Uh, one thing I didn't really account for was this outlet. I kind of I mean, had my whole idea, but I kind of, the outlet was an afterthought. But now it's kind of in the way of uh, a lot of things. So I'm trying to move the uh, sink on over. So you're okay. Kind of, a, kind of a slow start for the mud out here, but we got mud tape in the living room today. <sighs> See that happening. Only a couple things in the way. We gotta get the ceiling up too. So hopefully those two things happen in the next week or two. Bathroom's going strong. Toilet, freaking win. I was telling Chelsea, I was like, second best experience on a 
beautiful mood in my life. So first being, the first time I used a bidet in Japan, I was like, okay. I've known about bidets most of my life. And I don't know, culturally is weird, I guess. We're just so used to toilet paper, but uh, yeah. I don't I haven't used any of toilet paper since we've been in the house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm excited about today. Mud tape. We still have this room, kitchen area, closet, and the bathroom left. And I think we're gonna try, I think we're gonna try to do all of them this week. I believe so. But we also, at one point, we talked about trying to have the ceiling up, but it's really hard to do some of that stuff above my head by myself. So we're limited on time with, with each other. So we might focus on that next week. I'm not quite sure. Everything's gonna be like 97% done though, because there's still some work I gotta do in here. And in the bathroom. And outside. Anyways, lifetime project. What's up, friends? So today is Saturday, the what, 14th? 15th, oh my goodness, halfway through the month. <sighs> it just seems like time is flying, but you know, we're having fun. We're having fun still. So Chelsea will not be here today. She is getting her hair done. Chelsea hasn't had her hair done in like, she sold me two years yesterday. I thought it was a year. Two years is more appropriate. So two years has been a while. You know, it's been a long time. I'm gonna get this ready for priming. So um, we're only, I'm gonna, it's gonna be a quick sand in here. I wanna do it, but I don't, I, at the same time, I don't wanna do it. It's, it's like a freaking, a fight in my brain, you know? I wanna do it myself, but my body's like, I don't wanna do this anymore, man. <laughs> but we're gonna do it anyway, so body, suck it up. Lots of coffee today. This coffee is awesome. Tell you, yeah. Peregrine and West Cliff. Colorado, order some online. Where was I going with this? So, I gotta do a quick sand. Pretty sure it's all it's all ready to go. I'll make sure it's all dry. Cause I did this uh, yesterday. Most of it should, it should all be good. It looks really good. I left the windows open, so some fresh air. In. It is Sunday, Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Happy Father's Day. I got to have a nice long conversation with my dad last night. It was awesome. He's doing great. He's in Cambodia. If you watched our videos before, you probably saw videos of him. Hi, Dad. And, yeah, hey again. <laughs> we're in good spirits. We're ready. Yeah, we're ready. I, unfortunately, I don't know if it's unfortunate, but... It was unfortunate. Yeah, well, we were hoping to have most of the ceiling done by the end oh. of this week coming up. Like, completely. But I need Chelsea's help, and she has business to take care of. Business, business. travel. She's got business time. <laughs> so uh, we'll do what we can, and then uh, press on, because we get the ceiling in. Um, yeah, I think we start where we're standing in the kitchen. I think we're going to get paint up on the walls today. I think we are. Yeah. So Brian's going to help me once he's done taping and muddy. Yes. So two, co two coats of prime. Two coats of prime, one mineral prime, or sorry, one. What do they call it? Oh, there was a word for it. Yeah, I forgot. But it's just like the normal prime. One regular all, primer. Like, All-purpose <laughs> primer. That'll help yeah. get it ready. And then one mineral prime coat. We want to say huge thanks to John Peltier. Peltier? I'm very sorry if I pronounced your name What's wrong. What's his name? John Peltier? Peltier? Peltier. I was like, do I know him? Mm -hmm. I don't know, dude. <laughs> Thank you for becoming a Patreon member. We are really appreciative of our Patreon and YouTube members because We've broken our microphone like twice in two weeks. The one weeks. we're talking, I hope it's working. I hope it's working. I broke it yesterday. After I broke it last week. You guys make it so that we can buy new equipment while we break it. So 100%. thank you. 100%. Patreon, we did, we did. But yeah. also thank you to Kate, 
who it took yeah. me a while to acknowledge this because I was like really confused by what it was. It was a super thanks. Thank you. It was thank you for making content and sharing it with you guys. So apparently you can do that. So thank you, Kate. And I'm sorry it took me so long to heart your super thanks. But yeah, clearly we're noobs. It's in here. Anyway, I'm gonna go call my dad for Father's Day, but uh, we're gonna start priming. Getting all sorts of crumbs in it. Alright boys and girls, the room is freshly primed. Look at this beautiful solid white wall. Whew. Just asking for another coat of primer. Not much to say, primed quite a few walls in this house already. One thing I will say is that the enthusiasm I have to do this comes from every time you put on another coat, it looks better of course, right? But just seeing everything like primer white. <laughs> It's so cool. Seeing everything primer white definitely makes the house look like a noticeable step closer to being done, which is really cool. <sighs> Second coat is done. We did not film it because I don't know if there could be anything more boring than painting white paint over white paint. So with Brian's help, we are now going to start the first coat of the line paint, which will be with slurry. We're going to do two coats. So let's do two coats of the base paint with slurry and then do the top coat without the slurry. So we're going to do that, I guess. Let's see how it goes. I don't know. All right. It's going to look cool. I think it's going to look cool. Yeah. Because, I mean, it looks good already. It does. And we're not going to be like this. Yeah. So three more coats, technically. Yeah. Technically three coats. Technically. The first two are going to going to be back to back. Yeah. Well, we're gonna try and go through them quickly. Video, yeah, we're gonna try and go through them quickly because it's already four. But if we get them done today, then we don't have to do paint tomorrow. So. wall here and uh, way different than when it's wet. I will say compared to the velvet wall paint that we did in the half bath in the bedroom, this has a lot more of a learning curve. The bedroom actually lined. Oh sorry. It's lined paint but without the slurry. Once you had the slurry, the texture is totally different. Like, you watched our last video when I did the bedroom paint you know I added water to it and that consistency is a lot easier to use than this which is like really thick and chunky so yeah grimy grimy I don't know so we're going really slow because we're kind of doing like two coats in one which yeah. is why I'm doing the first coat where I'm kind of doing the second and then using the squeegee for the texture sometimes she's doing Sometimes I'm doing this again, so it's slow going. I mean, it's probably been 45 minutes and we've done this. Look at the consistency. We didn't add any water or anything. So we just added, sorry, we added the slurry. So we did add something, but we didn't add anything other than water. No water. We took a very short break to walk the doggos. Sun is about to set over the mountains. We have this one tall wall left. 
and we have almost no paint of this color left. So I think we're gonna try it. I'm not entirely sure what happened. I think we got the consistency wrong in the hallway. I think it was too thick, like we put in too much slurry. So I don't know. When we added water, which we did on the short wall, we got a little bit more out of it and the texture is slightly different, but essentially unnoticeable. So I think we might need to add a little bit more water to the front wall and then just try and finish this because I did not have any fun this weekend. <laughs> to uh, V Cooper who left the comment on our last video that said you are the most reluctant overachievers I've ever seen. First of all, like hilarious because both Brian and I laughed for a lot, a long time at that. Uh, but also that really encapsulates like how we feel right now. It's like, oh, you're about to finish building your house. How do you feel? And we're just kind of like, Ugh. so yeah, reluctantly we will uh, continue working. Last night, Chelsea and I finished painting. Well, well, yeah, we finished painting, but we're gonna do one more coat. Um, we finished painting the main living area, the hallway, typically the kitchen area. This is actually where we started. It's probably the best one. Um, so it does have a close up. So it does have a texture. Interesting, it took I think we were like we were pretty ambitious because it took it was so fast to do the um, the the primer, but this paint was so thick when you put the slurry in it. I was gonna paint and um, use the squeegee at the same time, but the paint, it's so dry here. I mean the paint was drying really quickly, so you're supposed to use the squeegee as it's drying, and um, I didn't want to wait too long. So uh, actually, so there's a couple times just in the beginning I asked Chelsea to slow down. So <laughs> I was like, yo, I think you're doing the painting. And so that's probably one reason it, it did take some time. Um, we're running low on paint, but uh, <laughs> we made it last. So we, were, we did the hallway, did two coats in there. And it, we learned pretty quickly that we were probably going to run out of paint. So what we did was just a pretty thick layer of, of, uh, of paint. And then uh, we knew we were gonna do another coat over all of this. So we just have one thick layer. Instead of just doing like a normal texture, knockdown or you know, orange peel, all that jazz, uh, we, we chose this because we knew if we were gonna do the drywall ourselves, we didn't have to worry about some of the imperfections or the mud work or the um, tape work and all that jazz. So, I mean, I don't really see any of it. I can see a couple screws here and there. I finished painting yesterday. So, when as I was painting, It. I did not like it at all. I think it's because of the way I was doing it. So I don't think, um, I don't hate it anymore. Just so we're, we're clear, was, I've accepted. Oh, here comes Chelsea. I was just telling, telling YouTubes, was like how much I hated the paint at first. Yeah. Um, Cause I think the, 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 the idea was that we're using the top layer was gonna be very diluted and actually uh, you could see a little bit of the, the base layer. That was the idea. And then as I was going, um, I would have like a ton of paint on my roller and then after a while it would come off and then it started to look really like what we wanted. But well, then it was like, it just kind of looked funny because it wasn't as even, which yeah. even was not what we we're going for. True. But the goal that we really want is just like, it doesn't really grab attention. Yeah. And I think it's hit. So um, it is definitely lighter than we expected. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then as we were sitting here, Chelsea and I were talking, and we both like at the same time came to the conclusion, it's like, hey, we're gonna have wood floor, well, wood looking floor, mm -hmm. and the, the ceiling's gonna be, you know, well, this is not gonna be the ceiling. So 
wood, but it's gonna be wood, natural looking color, and that's what's gonna bring some warmth to the, the rooms. Uh, if we had hues of wood on the, I mean, wood color, brown, tans on the ground, and then on the wall it's kind of tan because it's what the kind of first base color looks like. Yeah. And then on the top, and then it's like that's just a little too much for for what we're going for. We want it kind of. Yeah. Anyways, um, I really don't want to do this. Is that why you're stalling? I wasn't stalling. <laughs> she Chelsea thinks I'm stalling all the time. I'm like constantly looking for tools and shit. I was looking for that for like five, like five seconds. First, we have to address the elbow in the room. What is it? I put mascara that? on today. It's a crime. No, just kidding. It's that I got my hair. <laughs> you did put mascara on. I did put mascara on. See, I wasn't lying. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't look at her eyes that well. Every time I look at her, I'm not really. I'm looking through her. <laughs> I didn't notice. The hair is awesome. Look, look at her hair. I got my hair cut, which I wanted to do when we were done with the build to like signal the end. But I have to drive two and a half hours to get my hair cut. And, and we're done. not done. And we're not done. So you know, best best laid plans. Yeah. But anyway, we did our best. Look really nice today. Yeah, you did. Thank you.